in Springfield, everybody. You can see there's two big antique malls, the one there, there's the back. And then, whee, here we go. And one right here. Right, so here we are at the Springfield Antique Center. So, we'll see who we can run into in here. We were all meeting up, but I just showed you the other building, so my friends may be in the other building. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something good. So the first thing that we get to here, this is one of the first booths. Look at this really pretty whole pottery uh, ceramics with the butterfly pattern. Isn't that beautiful? So it's really hard. It's overwhelming. Like if I had to do that to over again, 20 bucks, I might go back and get that whole set. And the whole set wasn't 20 bucks, but you know, it was like 20 bucks per piece. But I thought that was really sweet and really cute. But you know, you just keep thinking something better is around the corner. So sometimes you miss out a little. <laughs> Look at this. There's not the Easter Bunny. He looks a little mischievous. <laughs> I think Mary Beth would like him. And I know she would like these guys. Look how happy they are. Just a little out of my price range. She's sweet. She had a little damage though. Okay guys, you're gonna love this. If you love Littles as much as I do, this is gonna blow your mind. Look at all these teeny tiny little things. Again, overwhelmed. I should write that across the screen. <laughs> I mean, look at all of this. How, how am I ever going to choose? I need these for package toppers. I did come away with a couple of bags, but again, I just broke out into a sweat and panicked because there's no way I could choose from all this stuff. These were, and then look at all these little buckets, but they were a quarter a piece. So that's just a little steep for package toppers. I mean, when you're talking about getting 50 or 100 or something. But look at that sign. So there's Look, those are states, like United States puzzles pieces. Uh, bingo balls. I mean, just little tiny little things everywhere. Adorable. I mean, I could have stood there for an hour looking at all that little stuff. And it just kept going. Look at all that, y'all. My gosh. These blow molds were fun. Oh, you're fine, man. I'm not getting you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that tall. I should have. I was just open. Look, you guys, that's my name, Laura Lee. Oh, I should collect those, right? Look at that little cutie. I almost got that baby, but um, the plastic was super hard and it was kind of bowed out at the bottom. So I didn't take her with me. This booth had a lot of cute vintage toys and books and games. I get kind of caught up sometimes thinking about what Max might like. <laughs> I also look for cards and stuff for package choppers. 
these are sweet love the graphics on those and those this is a great booth um, lots of cool and interesting things to look at these are those little cigar or cigarette tins very 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 cool um, need those to be a little cheaper though for me to pick those up for mystery boxes but you guys look at these these are Moser geese Moser flying geese in the ruby red aren't they beautiful almost two hundred dollars but gorgeous right if you're keeping those for yourself they're fantastic Speaking of keeping for yourself, I love this bowl. If I could go back, I would go back and get myself this bowl. Isn't it beautiful? Love it. It's even prettier when I watch it back on video. Here's some nifty turtles. Looks like they have the little pieces, uh, you know, they have the acrylic and the little pieces of uh, shell on there. But at $15 a piece, not much room there for those. Same booth, this is a beautiful display. I love this bright orange glass right here. Gorgeous. It almost glows, right? You can just see it. And that little guy is adorable. That's a cigarette holder. I did end up picking him up, I think. Beautiful amber glass display. And look, there's Hager Earthwrap. Um, Royal Hager. So... I love the earth wrap. One of these days I'm gonna break down and start buying that. Probably when it gets too expensive, right? <laughs> I think that's really cool. And then there's some more orange. Just love it. Love the orange. They had it all here. There were there were lots of pieces that I liked in this booth, and um, need those for my personal collection. But I wasn't shopping for me today. <laughs> and look at this pixie. Isn't he cute and proud of himself? I think it's really neat. You don't see pixie art very often, right? That was very large. So I left that there for someone local, but I loved it. Check out this elephant, you guys. That is a name, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but that's a name that I've not seen before. So I'm gonna look that up. I haven't done it yet. If one of you guys know about this, a ceramics maker uh, put it in the comments we would love to uh, learn that with you but it was a beautiful piece Oh, look at this antique baby carriage with the parasol. When I was like two years, less than two years old, 
my grandmother had an antique store and we had one like that and I have my picture made in it I'll have to find that somewhere for you guys sixteen hundred dollars gorgeous but look at this look at all the tape and I mean really people do they have to tell you not to put your child up into a sixteen hundred dollar antique come on <laughs> mom this one's for you look at this pair of Henry Don chess my mom loves a pair of anything a pair of chairs a pair of lamps a pair of chess and these are so pretty if i would had room i would have brought those home to you mom 450 each i mean really it wasn't that bad of a price i love this little pair of compotes too those were really pretty pretty much retail though love this booth with this retro art i'm doing my best here to try to give you guys a really good look at some of the prices and the price tags as i'm doing the voiceover i can't read the tags very well but hopefully that you're seeing them and seeing the trend of of how the pricing went while we were there i mean it was pretty you know pretty retail pretty much at the high end of retail actually cute table here it's like a barrel table for tan and then look at this shell art oh it's so fancy with the flamingo <laughs> I thought this was so cute and catchy I was gonna get that and then I looked at the price and Oh my gosh, I think it's like $65. I kept looking underneath. <laughs> I'm turning my head now looking at the video trying to see it. $45, $55. Gonna have to pass on that. It's iconic though, right? Epic. And actually, I mean, speaking of epic, look at that one. First of all, I wanted to look at this flamingo. So there he is, but you know, over my price range. But look at this owl that's the shell art. I was so tempted by him. And then I thought, oh, no, I can't take him home with me. But he's so different. I do love the way they did his eyes like that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> flamingo shakers. They were about $35 though. Oh, look, I did find somebody. And look, yeah. <laughs> you decided not to get a cart, didn't you? Right, so I got all the glass. <laughs> and I'm gonna juggle it all the way up. Yeah, so see, that's the, that's the, um, the what you should do. Like, right. I should not get a cart. And then you, you know, by, <laughs> by Murphy's Law, you just, you know, have to do it. Exactly. You have to find everything. That's right. Boy, I love these lamps. Aren't they great? Super mid-century modern with the pink and the gray. Gorgeous. The trouble will be finding shades for those. I thought this was a really nice display of the Lana Burger baskets. 
um, if you can find those reasonably priced. Um, they're collectible and they sell pretty well. This is a really nice little grouping of them. Now we're going to start getting into the holiday. Boy, I mean, if you're a holiday collector, they had whatever you could imagine in here. But, I mean, the prices? Goodness gracious. So hot right now. It's so collectible. And um, it's just, you know, priced accordingly. And you can't find all this old vintage. People are snapping it up. But just check out some of these price tags. Some of these were hundreds of dollars. Look at that guy with the blue around his eyes. I loved him. All right. This is this one's for you guys. Lady gown. Can't pass them up. Again, a beautiful selection of the vintage Halloween. Um, if you've got the pocketbook for it, <laughs> then you're in the right place. Uh, there was die cuts. There was, you know, the Rospo. There was pumpkins. There was paper mache pumpkins. I mean, look at this selection, you guys. It was really, really something. Loved it. It was so much fun to look at. But just, I mean, pay attention to the price tags. For instance, look at this pumpkin guy. I thought, oh, this pumpkin, he's just kind of tossed up there. He's probably reasonable. He was $150. Isn't that something? Okay, so here we are in the cases. Look at this. Here's their setup. Did you see the button there? So there's a little light there. And a button you can push if you need help getting in one of the cases. But look at that. It's overwhelming. I know you've seen it in some of the other videos. But, I mean, it was really something. You guys, look. Maybe nobody has showed this yet. Look at this Moriyagi. This one, I think, impressed me the most. This collection. It is stunning. I could have looked at that for, like, a couple of hours. The workmanship in that is just breathtaking. It's beautiful. I'll just let you enjoy shopping in the cases like I did. There's MT himself. Hello, hello. Probably buying something antique -y and pretty. Uh, I did get some antiques, yes, I did. <laughs> I ran into Jeffrey, and he's going to ring the bell for me to get in this case. There's several things that I think are cute, like this Lucite candle. There's a kitty cat. You can see his back there in the front that I like. There's this little puppy dog, pet rock. <laughs> and a rinking on an elephant. So yeah, we're gonna get somebody to let us in here. Super 
Gotta love this piece right here with all the drawers. Um, one of these days, I'm gonna find a piece like that to take home with me. Love it. Okay, so I showed a lot of what I got. So I'm not gonna do an end of the video haul for this one because I'm moving on to the next antique mall and I don't, and I've got my stuff all packed up here. Really nice to travel with. And I don't wanna unpack it because then I'll miss out being at the next place. So, but I will show you this. I don't think you saw this guy. I don't think you saw. Ah, this adorable little elf. Isn't he cute? Oh, I love him. Look at his face. Okay. <laughs> So there's him, and then there's this tacky Santa. Well, he's not tacky. Santa's not tacky, but he's got the tacky fake greenery on him. And he's got little bells. So he's cute. <laughs> okay, so I know I said you weren't gonna get a haul, but you are. I decided to do one when I got home. Uh, such cute little things that I found um, at that Springfield Antique Center. Um, here's the little elf. Now you did see him in the back of the car. I mean, is he sweet or what? So cute. And here's the kitty, the little sleeping kitty. So precious. Um, it's not marked. I think it's a hobbyist piece, but very well done. Yeah, 1989. Um, there, this is a little pyro pyrography box, pyro pyrography, I think, <laughs> but someone has put a sweet little postcard in the lid, but wouldn't that just be an adorable box for your postcards and ephemera? I think that would just be perfect for that. Here's the red lucite candle, gorgeous. I actually have, yep, yeah, here's our little tag there. I actually have a really pretty Viking green candle holder that I think I'll put that with for Christmas time uh, to sell. Pretty little stone elephant. Um, look at this guy. I think I should get credit for him for the scavenger hunt, which was actually, I just did at the Springfield flea market, but look, he could be a pet rock. I know it's not officially a pet rock, like from the 70s licensed pet rock, but isn't he cute y'all? <laughs> Someone just made him, but I love him. I couldn't resist since he was on the scavenger hunt. Um, and look at this. So, here is like a little scary assortment of odd legs and hands and doll heads. I'm going to find a really cool jar and put them all together in there and sell that for a Halloween decoration. Isn't that cute? Because you know me, I love mystery jars and it would just be cool to have like a haunted one. Um, Oh, here, I did get a couple things out of that booth with all the minis. Y'all, could you believe that booth? Um, I was overwhelmed in there. I, I'm, I wish that I could go back and do that over again. But I did see these Clue cards these vintage, from this vintage Clue game. So I love those for package choppers. I just think they're so cute. It's so cute to put the little Clue, you know, score thing in there and then one of the cards. I think that's adorable. Um, there's the Santa, the tag with the tacky Christmas greenery and the bells that you saw in the video. I love that. He's adorable. Um, I love this little elephant. He is a cigarette holder. Of course, you could use him for a pencil holder, I think. Um, let's see glasses aren't letting me see very well tonight.
there's that sticker if you guys can make that out oh this is what it says on the sticker Urfilia, Germany so I'd never heard of that before so I loved him and then you guys look at this I think you guys are really gonna like him it is an artisania Riccinata elephant but look how big he is so see him like you know compared to my hand you know usually they're little little tinies like you know usually they're more like this size and he's a big one let's see if I can show him so there's the little bit of enameling the signature enameling that it always has there's the mark So isn't that cute? Love him. These are ceramic, like I said. Oh, and then my, I think my favorite piece this time, besides him, he's adorable. But I love this piece. I didn't take the string tag off. But look, it's heavy. It's weighted. But it's got these little turquoise chips and it's made this bonsai tree. Don't you love that? And look. See the little bird? There's a little bird there. And look, a little bird there. So I just think this is perfect for your bathroom or your bedroom. I can just, you know, I just think it needs to be, you, know, you need to have some vintage compacts, some jewelry, and that type of thing um, all there with it, like on your dresser or in your bedroom. I just think it's beautiful. You can just use it anywhere. All right, so we're gonna finish up. I'm gonna let myself finish up on the video for you guys. All right, so that does it for this antique mall. I hope you had fun looking. It's a blast if you're ever in uh, the area of Springfield, Ohio, you should go antiquing because it is so much fun. There's so much to see here. As always, we'd love for you to click the like button, click subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps our channel grow a lot. So until next time, stay tuned and see what Fat Bird finds next. Bye everybody.